Okay, this video is going to be a little bit different than um, some of the stuff you're probably used to me doing. Um, today I'm going to try and show you a fake uh, Nintendo DS game, which I have unfortunately acquired um, <laughs> through no real fault of my own. I ordered it through Amazon, and it was told to be like new. Well, um found out it was fake because I have a DSi as well as a normal DS. So when you put a fake uh, DS game in a DSi, you basically get a message uh, um, on my DSi. I go ahead and click game, open it up, and an error has occurred. Press and hold the power button, turn the system off, see DSi menu for options, yeah, 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 yeah. manual I mean. And you see there's nothing on the top screen, but um did that a few times, doesn't work. But if I take it and play it in my normal DS, it works perfectly fine. Um, as far as the size or identifying one of these, here's my uh, legit Mario Kart uh, DS side-by-side. -side. As you can see, there's like this little millimeter difference between them. You can see kind of at the bottom there a little bit difference there. Um, you know you got this um, trying to keep it focused. <laughs> um, this you know product code there, you got product code there. Um, that looks legit and whatnot but there's something you can see pretty obvious here in the camera. Um, see how the label on the DS is just, uh, the Tetris DS is just a little crooked? I didn't notice that at first, um, but if you actually, and you're probably not going to be able to see this too well here on the camera, I'm going to try and zoom in, so bear with me um, as I refocus. Oh, that made it worse. Okay, I can't get to do it. I was hoping to do this on a... Uh, better view, but ain't gonna happen. Um, the spacing between the label, there's kind of like this little groove where the label should be all the way around it. There's actually spacing between that on this cartridge. If you look at a legit DS cartridge, there is no spacing around it. The label just fits. Um, I did go through and look at a couple older cartridges I have. Um, let them lay out here. We got a couple here. We got Metroid Prime Hunters. Uh, the label itself, let me look at it here again. Yeah. Um, that matches all the edges around. Chrono Trigger matches all the edges around. Um, same thing with this uh, cheapo game I got, Chicken Shoot. I, I got it just because it seemed so ridiculous and the price was right. Two bucks. Um, all the labels fit exactly in that designated space. Um, there's no gap around it. Um, as you can also see, all these cartridges are exactly the same size. I'm trying to get them to line up here better, but... Um, all of them are exactly the same size. I mean, there's no variance at all on them. I mean, they are the same size. Um, on the back of these legit carts, because this is actually a really good fake <laughs> um, Tetris game, and you know, I didn't really notice it. <laughs> until I've actually started checking it out. Um, your Nintendo logo here, that's the um, best way I can describe it is it's like laser etched um, in there. It's a little bit of a, a bump, but not much. I mean, it's basically nothing. You could basically run your finger across it and almost not feel it. If you compare that, and that's the same on all these legit cards, on this DS fake, this has some serious depth to it. I, I can actually hit my fingernail over it. Can you hear that? That's my fingernail going over. If I do it over this Nintendo one here, 
you can really not hear it. Um, so same thing with this patent pending um, text on it. That's actually like best way I can word it. It's, it's actually um, the plastic itself has been molded. Yeah, that's the best way I can word it. It's basically it's molded plastic to have the Nintendo logo on that. I wish I had a legit DS uh, Tetris DS cart to compare it to to know for sure on if it's just perhaps that model or not. But being that all my other DS games don't have that deep uh, molding to it, pretty sure it's not the case. Um, another thing I've noticed is you're probably not going to make it out too much, but you see the green of the circuit board. It's a much lighter green on the legit carts than this really dark green. Um, I've also gone through and you can't no, I'm going to try. There's some lettering on each one of these little um, fingers of the card here. I've gone through, I've typed into Google and guess what? Somebody else has that same numbering um, for a different uh, game altogether. It's not Tetris DS. Um, another thing to do is, if you suspect you got a fake, um, can you see that? Uh, there we go. See that there? That's a serial number for your card. Um, at least I believe that's the serial number. It's basically a, a code to identify a card to make sure it's legit. Um, you can't really see it too much. I'm trying to angle a card here on this one. Um, you got code there, code there, code there. See how these are like really nice and dark? These are all like brand new games I bought. This one was a used Prime. Uh, I got that through GameSpot. Um, happened to stop in there one day. but um, This one's fairly dark and it looks legit. It's in the right font. Um, uh, how I figured out this game was definitely fake is I basically typed this code in on Google and it came up with about 10 other games that, that was on um, Super Mario 64 I think was one of them um, a Final Fantasy game and something else there's a bunch of them it wasn't legit um, so yeah uh, another thing I've noticed here I'm going to compare it to Prime Hunters because it's a used game if you kind of take your finger, go over the label, as much as you want to kind of press on it, you're not going to find any bumps. Um, something interesting I found on this one is there's a bump right here, right about where that seal quality is at the very bottom left. Like I said, you're not going to be able to see this. <laughs> um, it's a screw head. I actually kind of took my fingernail and kind of went around a little bit. There's actually a screw right there. Um, that's not normal for a DS game to have a screw there, as far as I know. Um, other little odd things I've noticed here. I mean, like I said, this is a really good fake. I mean, you got to have a legit cart right by it to basically know for sure, unless you got a really good eye. Um, width wise they got it pretty much spot on um, but look at the triangle here this little insert triangle see how a legit cart has a much smaller one this one has a much bigger one about twice as big um, another odd thing is I'm going to try and get this in the shot um, take a look at the edge of this cart here you see it's basically smooth. I mean you got the the part where the two halves go together and everything. Um, but right here there's nothing there. If you look at a legit cart, see there's like this uh, kind of a groove bevel thing. I'm not really sure what you would call that. On all the legit carts I have, it's there. Um, just something else to point out that that was rather odd. All the other edges on this um, seem to match up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a really, really good fake, in my opinion. I'm, I really wouldn't have ever known the difference. 
um, unless I had this DSI, um, which basically told me, hey, your uh, game can't play. It doesn't tell you that it's a fake, it just tells you your game can't play. Um, 